joining me. This is a recording of a live rest class I did. If you want to join in on any of my Zoom rests, the link is just hannahbrownyoga.ca and you can sign up through that. I hope you enjoy. So we will lay down and we'll start in our supported fish pose. So two pillows lengthwise and we'll recline down onto them. Make sure that your head is nice and supported. Low back feels good. And arms could reach wide. If this feels too open to start, feel free to have your hands just resting on the body. Knees can stay bent, you can have the legs outstretched, or even bring the soles of the feet together. Once you're all settled in, give yourself permission to let go. Anything that happened before class, Anything waiting for you after can all wait. This is your time for you. your whole body just melt around the pillows. And feel how your body starts to accept and respond to the shape. Bring your palms together now and generate a bit of heat between your hands, rubbing them together. And if it's freezing cold where you are too, you might need to rub them a little extra. And then you can bring your hands over your eyes. You can have the fingers spread or just let them rest on the temples. Let's do that once more. See if you can get the hands even warmer. And let them rest over the eyes or anywhere else. And just let them soften, kind of melting the muscle, the tension.
From there, let's do that scalp massage. So fingers spread wide. Bring them towards your hairline. And start to make some little circles, just pressing in. And they can slowly get bigger and you can start to make your way to the crown of your head. Just moving your hand as one unit rather than making your fingers do a whole lot of work. And if you make it to the crown of the head, just start again. Once you're done with that, you might just smooth the hair out. <laughs> and then bring your first and middle fingers to your temples and make some little circles there. Give the ears a little massage. I don't know if we've done that one yet before. Um, you'll bring your first finger and your thumb to kind of gently press into the outer ear, like where maybe your fourth or third ear piercing would be if you ever went through that phase. <laughs> Just draw some little circles, give them a little bit of pressure, and then bring them down to maybe where your third or so your piercing would be. And then do that again, one finger width down. And then right on the earlobes. I won't do it because you'll hear all the sound. But same thing, little circles. And then again, generate some more heat between your hands. And then bring the sides of your first fingers towards your nose. And then just bring your hands, almost like you're trying to widen the nose out. Kind of scraping away. Bring them all the way to the cheeks and out. Do that a couple more times. It can be nice for the sinuses. You could give the jaw hinge a couple little circles too. Or maybe just keep the pressure open, close the jaw, wiggle it around a bit. And then bring your hands, slide them onto your heart. And just take a few breaths there. you're ready, bring a bend into your knees, feet on the floor if they're not there already. And we'll roll over onto probably whatever side your device is on. 
You can just keep the pillows right where they are. Your bottom arm can stay as a pillow. And try to keep your shoulders and hips stacked one on top of the other. So that pillow there can actually kind of help you out so you don't lean back. Reach your top arm up and just let the weight of the hand start to release that shoulder. Gravity really working for us here. Keeping the face nice and relaxed. And over time, you might feel your arms start to move a little further back. And just give it a couple circles, real slow. And then we'll try this out on the other side. So just Maybe use that top arm to move the pillows. Nothing too fancy, just laying on the other side. Opposite arm reaches up and gravity pulls it back. It's amazing the progress that you can make through not really doing all that much. Just consistently keeping your arm there and letting go. And then try a few circles when you're ready. You can switch up the direction whenever you want to. And eventually bring that hand down in front of you. Let's come up through a tabletop, so hands and knees. You can always skip this and just come straight to seated. But we'll move through some cat-cows here. You can't see with my cardigan on. 
We'll inhale to drop the belly, reach the heart through the arms, lift the chin, and exhale round the back. And a few more, just like that. Same thing if you're seated, just moving the back. And through a little back bend and then through a little rounding. you're ready, release. And let's all come to seated. Let's extend one leg out. Let's say this is the left leg. <laughs> and then we'll keep the right leg nice and bent. I'm actually going to bring a blanket underneath my right knee just so it's nice and supported. The sole of the foot could be um, resting directly on that extended leg, or it could be more directly in front of you. Drop your right fingertips down onto the ground, maybe onto your prop, if that makes sense. And then reach your left arm up and over. You might even bend into the arm you're leaning on. You can go for a few circles here too, if that feels nice. If you're feeling a bit more energetic, then you could lift your hips up and press into the sole of the foot that's on the ground, press into the knee, and same thing, big circles. Switch up direction. And when you've had enough, come back to sitting upright. Left hand onto the extended leg. Right arm up and over, hand could rest on the head. And just get that nice little counter stretch into the side body. Come up. We'll just move this Pop away for a second. Bring your extended leg and stack it on top of the other one. So you're kind of hanging out on your side here like a mermaid. And then we'll come down onto the right forearm. And this looks like we're going to do a side plank. I promise we're not. You might feel a little bit of strengthening into your lower arm, but it shouldn't be too much. Reach your top arm up maybe back behind you like we just did. And then start to sweep it underneath your right arm and get a nice twist in. And we'll go for a couple more of those. Inhale, open your heart. Exhale, twist. Slide the left arm under the right. I really like this twist. I feel like it gets a little deeper than when our backs are on the ground for a twist. Why not? Let's go for one more. Maybe it feels good to kind of hold here and breathe. And then bring a bigger bend into your right leg, straighten the left, and we'll come up. We'll just switch it out. Left leg bends, right leg extends. Left hand comes down. You can always bring a prop under the leg. 
big circles, option to lift the hips again. Just feel it out. This side might be different than the last. And come up. Right hand to the extended leg, left arm up and over, hand on head and breathe. Come up, you can move your prop away, left forearm down, stack the knees, hips down, reach top arm up, maybe even back, and then find that nice little twist. I think we did four on the last side, so we'll do three more here. Maybe hold in that last twist. Come up. Let's find a comfortable seated position. So whatever that means for you, cross-legged, sitting on the edge of your bed, couch. You know the drill, you can sit however you want, it doesn't matter. <laughs> We're gonna bring the right hand onto the left shoulder. And just feel the weight of your hand. Then bring your left hand to the right side of the belly or waist. And breathe. Can release your lower hand and keep that heavy sensation in the shoulder. Maybe you even keep your right hand there and drop right ear to the right shoulder. You could start to reach your left fingers out to the side. Maybe even back behind you a little bit. And see if you can keep all that heaviness in the shoulder and bring the other hand back behind you. You could interlace your fingers, keeping your head towards the ear. No. <laughs> keeping your right ear towards the shoulder. And then if you want, you can bring your interlaced fingers over towards the right hip. <laughs> Definitely keep your ears on your head. <laughs> so you should be getting a nice big stretch all down the left side of the neck. 
maybe into the shoulder, the arm a little bit too. If your right elbow is winging out, see if you can pull it back in. Release, let it all go. And just breathe. Left hand to right shoulder helps to heavy it. Right hand to left side waist or belly helps to bring the breath a little lower, a little deeper. Release the right hand. Maybe even reach it out to the side. And if you still want more, bring your right fingertips back. Keep the shoulder heavy, left ear to left shoulder. Option to interlace your fingers. And maybe bring those hands over to the left hip and pull your elbow back. Come all the way out of that shape. Reach your arms wide and up. Interlace your fingers, bring them to the back of your head. You can just hang out here like you're at the beach. Or start to tip your chin towards your chest. Let your hands rest on the back of the head. So you're not cranking your head down, but you have a little bit of weight there. Come all the way up. Maybe widen the elbows, reach the heart to the ceiling, lift the chin. And let it go. I feel nice to take a twist to either side to just release. Let's make our way down onto our backs. And 
tight feel nice to bring your knees in give your ankles a little roll out I like to widen out the knees here hands could rest on the inner knees again just as that little bit of weight especially in the colder months. We're getting into the kind of airy seasons in Ayurveda. So joints can be extra crackly if you can hear mine. They're usually pretty bad, but this is extra, extra loud. If you want, you could Turn this into happy baby. Just holding on to anywhere along the legs, knees wide, feet to ceiling. Some people like to rock. You can get a nice stretch into the backs of the legs, straightening one leg and then the other. Bring everything in, feet down to the ground. And keep your left foot planted on the ground. Grab a hold of the right leg or just bring it in using the strength of the leg. And reach your right heel up towards the ceiling. Close your eyes, point and flex the foot. Feel all the sensation down the back of the leg. Next time it's flexed, leave it there. Point your toes to the top right corner of your bed or yoga mat. And start to bend your knee and your ankle might just land directly over your left knee. You can stay here or reach for left thigh. Again, just notice that you're not lifting your head or the shoulders. If that's happening, release the leg. We want to release tension. Definitely not add any into the neck and shoulders that we just worked so hard to release. You can see what happens if you lean a little to the left. And let it go. Right foot on the floor, left leg comes in. And straighten the left leg any amount, to the, any amount. <laughs> Heel could reach to the ceiling. And then point and flex the foot. Keep your foot flexed, spin the foot so that the toes point out to the left, bend the knee, it might land right over the right thigh. 
Maybe grab a hold of the right thigh, deepening the stretch for the left hip. Let it all go. We're going to come into a longer held shape here. So there's two options. Um, option one is to lay on the front of your body. Um, and for anyone who doesn't feel like doing that, we'll do it laying on our backs. So extend your right leg. Keep a bend in the left leg and just let the left knee fall out to the side, like tree pose but laying down. You can add a prop under this left leg. And otherwise, let's try this on the front. So you can rest your head on stacked palms. Maybe just bring the right cheek down. And then take a bend into your left knee and slide the inside of the left knee in line with the hip. So half frog pose. If you're on the ground and it feels crunchy, just add a folded blanket. Hopefully it's nicely folded, not like mine. So you're getting a little bit of a hip stretch here. Gravity's helping you out. And you get all that sweet feeling of breathing into the mat. So as you're here, you might feel the breath a little bit more in the back of the body. Thinking of breathing into the lower back. Every breath is a chance to breathe a little deeper. If you find it's hard to just breathe without thinking, that's how we all feel. <laughs> Let's see if you could start to count the breath. So let's count down from 10. So we'll inhale, exhale 10, inhale, exhale 9, and so on. If you make it to zero, start again at 10. And if you lose track, start again at 10.
stretch out your legs and bring your gaze to the opposite side. And once you're comfy, settle back into that breath. Go for two more breaths here. And come back to center and just breathe a couple rounds there. here. This is the hardest part is getting up out of that shape. <laughs> um, we're going to come into one more pose and we have a few options. So if you're near a wall or a headboard, you can kind of shimmy yourself up next to it and throw your legs up, but slow. <laughs> just so that your legs are supported for legs up the wall. And essentially, it, it's not really like a deep stretch, just a nice little gentle inversion. If you don't have that around, you can also use like a couch or a chair. You can just stack up some pillows. And I'm actually gonna add a folded blanket onto this too. And you can make this stack as high as you want. <laughs> I've uh, used couch cushions where I've used like four couch cushions and <laughs> put my legs up. 
So this one isn't very high, but it still feels good. <laughs> we'll just really let ourselves relax into the shape, whatever one you've chosen. And yeah, if inversions aren't in your practice, just put like one pillow under your knees and keep your feet on the floor. And let yourself settle. You can always use a pillow under the head too. And yeah, you can get creative. So I just folded up my pillows so they're a little bit higher. And hands are resting wherever you want them to. Overhead can be nice or just resting on the body. And then go for a few slow breaths on your own. And let's try a few rounds of breath work together here. So we'll do the four, seven, eight breath. Inhale for four, hold the breath in for seven, and exhale for eight. If this doesn't feel good, let it go. Tune me out. Put your device on mute <laughs> for whatever you want. <laughs> So let's start with your own breath in, not counted. A little pause in the fullness. And then a conscious, slow exhale. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Hold, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one, hold, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, four, three, two, one, hold, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one, hold, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, 
Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last one with me, inhale, four, three, two, one, hold, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You can stay in that shape as long as you'd like or come into a more conventional Shavasana, just laying on your back. And wherever you are, get nice and comfortable. And stay there as long as you'd like. Maybe challenge yourself to try that breath work again where you try to take 10 conscious breaths. See if you can make it to zero. And otherwise, if you don't have the time for that, know that you've done enough. And there's nothing else you need to do. Just rest. for watching and being here with me. Um, the ending was a little bit weird because my device shut off so I and I was recording this on Zoom as well. So um, if you ever want full-length videos you can go to my website hannahbrownyoga.ca and I always post the recordings of my Zoom rest, live rest classes. You can always join in my live rest classes too. You just type in your email and you get a link. So I'll pay what you can. Um, otherwise, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks.